Okay, so here we have the brand new Juki LU2828V-7. I'm going to turn on. Now this machine is a single needle walking foot. It doesn't require any compressed air. So it is just a single phase unit on a three pin standard UK plug. So when the machine starts, we use the touch screen to initialize. And now the machine is ready to start sewing. So we've actually set this machine up specifically for the automotive industry. We have some extra smart devices which are to uh, go alongside the Juki digital sewing equipment. So the first device that we have is a slide plate cover. Now this is for health and safety. Is if your hands or a technician's hands are, or an operator's hands are inside the machine, when you start using the sewing pedal, it's not going to allow the machine to run. And the second smart device that we've fitted is a skip stitch detector. So if the sewing machine, so the lens is here and the sensor is here, and it detects if a skip stitch or a slip stitch has been detected on the machine, which is obviously going to give you a, a warning on screen that there's a, a slip stitch. Um, so you're not going to be ruining lots of uh, expensive leather. So we can close the cover and the screen is enabled. Quick walk around on the display is we have some settings here. This is your front back tack. We can hold and we can set three stitches forward, three stitches back and how many we would like to do. So we could do a double double on this occasion. So we'll set that at two, at three, sorry. And then we've got here the rear end seam back tack, and so we've set this on three and three as well. We've got different program modes, so we can very quickly change between program modes, and this is going to alter the speed, the stitch length, the presser foot walk height, the pressure, uh, presser foot pressure, um, the stitch, um, uh, the, the, the stitch tension, um, and also the feed locus, so the, the um, direction of movement that the feed is moving in. So we've got a couple of settings here. So we're gonna stick on to setting four, and that already preloads. So we're at six and a half millimeter uh, stitch uh, pitch. We're at tension 62. Foot height walking is three. And uh, we've also, down here we have some uh, key buttons. So these are inseam buttons which are very very easily changed. So you can see when I'm pushing these buttons the um, settings on screen will change. So I push this button and you'll see it changes to another value. Another value again and I can press the same and it goes back to standard. So another feature on the uh, LU2828V-7 and across the whole range is that you have here, which is for the thread nipper. So at the start of the seam, the thread nipper will prevent a uh, bird's nest, uh, which is the thread uh, gath gathering, and it will ob obviously shorten the thread uh, end at the beginning of the seam. And this unit is the short thread trimming type. Uh, so it leaves a very, very small thread end once the thread has been cut at the end of the seam. Um, another uh, important feature is we have tra the traditional back tack switch here. But then we also have here a very, very uh, small dial which will allow the hand wheel to make micro adjustments. So these micro adjustments can be made before in seam and you know uh, if you want him to be very very precise you can use this we've also fitted standard kg867 drop down guide too 
So we can start sewing on the LU2828. And you can see the stitch. And then you can see the actual thread cut off length there, which is very, very small. So again, we can sew, drop the foot, in seam, I can set my quick setting. Now it's going to go to 150 SPM speed, so very slow, 2 millimeter stitch length, so very, very slow. If I want to be very precise in the middle of the seam, for example. I can select another value and you can see how easy it is to change the settings. So we've actually gone on number three up to an eight millimeter stitch pitch or stitch length. The settings are very, very easy to, to adjust and change. So we can change this stitch length. We can change the height of the walk of the machine. Now, one of the important things is in the middle of a seam, I'm going to quickly demonstrate what would happen if the skip stitch detection unit worked. So you can be sewing along in the seam, if you have a problem with the thread breaking and you don't realize, so I'm now gonna cut the thread as a demonstration. When I continue sewing now, you'll see an error come on the screen. So skip stitching is detected. So it then I can cancel. I can put the machine in standby mode I can bring the needle bar to the top. I can re-thread. And I can continue sewing. So this feature is an additional device which we've fitted here at AE Sewing Machines. It's a very, very easy. But it's also a bit of a safety and smart device to assist the operator to make sure that all seams are correct. So now I've threaded, I can trim the threads down slightly. I can take the machine out of standby mode and I can continue sewing. Okay, so you can see here, this is where we cut the thread to demonstrate a skip stitch. And it will give you an indication on the machine. One of the last features that we'll explain in this quick video is all of the Juki range of digital um, in industrial sewing machines are all NFC near field compatible. So if you have a smartphone, and you need to make adjustments and you have many of these machines, you can make the adjustments, tension, pressure, uh, presser foot pressure, um, stitch length, feed locus, pretty much every parameter um, that you would traditionally set mechanically, you can now do electronically, not only from the screen, but from your mobile phone or tablet. And then you can transfer the data you've set from one machine to every other machine in the factory. Also, USB is, uh, is standard also. So this has been a small demonstration of the Juki LU2828V-7 from AE sewing machines.